Hey, what's up? I'm Madison Pettis, and I'm originally from Arlington, Texas. I started doing modeling and commercials when I was little in Dallas, Texas, and I did the show Barney and Friends, where a lot of Texas girls got their start. Um, then I came out to LA when I was seven, and I've been here ever since. <laughs> I didn't even think I was moving like permanently. I just thought, oh, we'll go out for a couple months, you know, no pressure, just go on some auditions and just see what happens. Um, so I really thought like, oh, I'll do a couple commercials, like maybe a guest star. I didn't even think I would audition for a movie. Um, and the game plan was the first movie I ever auditioned for. And it was right as we were about to go home to Texas. And my agent called and was like, we have this really great audition. Like Madison needs to stay in LA just like a couple days longer. So we stayed in LA just for that. And we're like, okay, just so she can audition for a movie. Like that is so cool. A movie that'll be in theater. She gets to audition for That's awesome. I never really thought it was going to become like a whole other lifestyle. It might seem like it was kind of instant that I just like came to LA and it just all happened really fast. And it kind of did. It's pretty unusual that it would happen like that. Um, but it didn't happen just like instantaneous. I had still been working for like two or three years in Texas before I came out here. And then after that, it's not like I've been working, you know, back to back nonstop. There's always periods where you're not working so much or there's a bunch of auditions, but you know, nothing's turning out. So it, there's a lot of ups and downs in the business and it's just kind of something you have to get used to. Um, and if you're working, you know, and still trying to get your first break, it's really important that if you have that passion and that drive and you know that's what you want to be doing, you know that's what you're supposed to be doing, um, then just keep going. And if people are telling you you shouldn't or, you know, it's just taking longer than someone else, like it's totally everyone's journey is different and it'll be worth it if it's really your dream that you want to pursue. I'm really lucky that I've been able to keep my life so balanced. Um, I think for one that helps because my mom has always really made that a big priority in my life and always wanted to make sure that I had a normal childhood growing up. Um, and also I've gone to regular school pretty much my whole life. I was homeschooled while I was on Corian House just because I was working nine months out of the year and it wasn't possible. Um, but I went to regular middle school and I'm about to graduate from a regular high school. And I think just having that has really helped me because I'm not focused every day on what auditions am I going on or what am I working on? I'm not working that much. Like I have, you know, three tests tomorrow. I have other things to worry about and I have friends and I get to go to school dances and I get to go to my real prom and football games and all that fun stuff. So I think that's been a really big part in helping me keep my life sane and balanced. A lot of people have been like, oh, like you're that girl from that show. And like, it's either really flattering the way people do it or it's like, oh, they're kind of making a joke and it's not that funny, but like they're not being like really rude. I've had like some older girls like tweet like, oh, that girl from Corey in the house. And, like they think I don't see it, but then like people show it to me and I'm like, it's just not necessary. You know, like I'm, I just want to go to regular school and just be a normal person. Like if no one says anything to me about anything, I'm just Madison in their math class. Like that's the best thing ever. Um, so I definitely try not to draw any attention to it. Like if people come up to me, that's nice. I've had like some freshmen at school like want to come take a picture and that's like really sweet. So I don't mind that at all. Um, so if it's like from a nice place, I totally don't mind, but I really just want to, you know, keep a normal life when I'm at school. I think I joined Twitter when I was like 10, which seems hilarious, like who needs a Twitter when they're 10 years old, but it was like the new thing. And I remember like getting verified and I remember hitting 20,000 followers and being like, this is crazy. But like my mom was monitoring my Twitter, like a 10 year old should not just be <laughs> on the internet by herself. Um, so my mom was always like approving every tweet and she still does help me with social media, which is nice. Um, but it's crazy because when I started in the business, like that was not anything that people were ever worried about. So it was really a different switch in the industry when social media really took over. Um, and I like social media because it's fun to see other people's pictures and it's fun to post stuff and keep fans updated. Like it's really great for being like, hey, I'm on set today, I'm working on this, this is airing, I'm at a photo shoot. Like it's really nice to have that direct interaction. But some parts of it I hate. I hate that it makes, you know, everyone so over critical and over analytical about themselves. Um, I wish that we all just like were a little bit easier on ourselves on social media and didn't take it so seriously. Um, so it definitely has its pros and cons. I'm pretty lucky. Like I don't get a lot of hate on social media. Um, I think I try to not do anything that would cause too much hate. Um, but when I do, I really just have to brush it off. And my mom's good about that, just being like, it doesn't matter. Like there's one comment saying something negative and 500 saying something positive. And you always want to focus on that one negative thing, especially if it's something that you're insecure about yourself and then you're like, oh, someone else noticed it, like great. Um, so that's always just something kind of hard to deal with, but you just have to realize that people have their own opinions and you can't do anything about that. And just, you can't focus on anything negative um, because people, you know, one bad comment doesn't mean anything, a bunch of amongst a lot of nice comments. My brother has been in the Army for about seven years now. Um, so I was just like 10 when he joined and I was 
shocked when he said he was going to. I never saw that coming and I was really scared. I didn't know what that meant and I just knew that he was going to be in dangerous places and dangerous situations and I wasn't going to be able to see him and talk to him like I had been my whole life. So I was really scared, but it's made such a great impact on him and he's just become such a strong and um, strong man and a great father to my little niece and nephew now. Um, so I'm unbelievably proud of him. He's the bravest, most courageous person that I know. Um, but it definitely can be scary having a loved one deployed. Um, he's been deployed twice to Iraq and Afghanistan, um, and it was like a year long each time, and it was really hard. Um, Skype was really helpful. I got to Skype with him every once in a while whenever he could, um, but it's definitely a really hard thing. Um, so I definitely relate to anyone who has a loved one in the service. And that's why I love doing the tours with the USO. I got to do two educational tours, they called them with the USO. Um, I went to Germany and I went to Hawaii and I went to the military bases there and talked to the kids at the schools on the bases who have parents serving in the military. And it was just like the coolest experience ever because I could just relate to them and they could relate to me and just kind of see a celebrity in a light that they might not see them often. You know, someone that's like, oh, like she's not just on TV, she like goes through stuff that I'm going through. And it was really nice to be able to have that really intimate connection with people. My brother is my hero. My, my little nephew uh, thought his dad was like such a superhero his whole life. Um, but my brother was going to ranger school in the army to become a ranger. And my nephew thought he was going to avenger school to become an avenger because um, he thought his dad was a real life superhero. This year has been a really exciting year. I graduate high school shortly and then hopefully moving on to college. I'm waiting on my college acceptance letters right now. So fingers crossed on where I get in and see where I end up going next year. Um, and then I have a movie called Late Bloomer coming out later that I just wrapped up um, at the end of last year, which I'm excited for everyone to see. Um, it has a prom scenes in there too, which is fun. It's got to live prom all over again. Um, so that was a lot of fun. Can't wait for people to see that. I'm just excited for 2016 and see what else is in store. Hey, what's up? It's Madison Pettis, and I just want to tell you that you're so beautiful now. Never forget it.